Alright, talking about the sway bar on 2004 Dodge Ram Heavy Duty. So the first thing that you'll notice is my sway bar end links do not look good. That's not what they're supposed to look like. The bushings are okay, but they're starting to crack, you can see. But I've also got, uh, got a 2 inch level on the front of the truck so I really need to get longer sway bar uh, end links anyway so the stock height is 4.5 inches uh, the standard one that you buy is one that's designed to fit stock up to uh, a 3 inch level which extends it to 5 inches so you see it'll end up lifting uh, the front of my sway bar about an inch over stock to where that uh, that point is up there so uh, I'll put a link to those in here, cost about 90 bucks. Something else that I'm going to do at the same time is put new bushings in my sway bar here. Mine look like they're in, in okay shape, but cost about $25 and going to be in there anyway, so might as well. One thing you've got to do when you do this is measure the distance of these bars as they're all different even for the same year truck so get yourself a piece of calipers mine comes out to about 1.3 inches which uh, will convert into a bushing size alright there's the new sway bar end links on they added about an inch in height here you can see it's not perfectly flat and the instructions they tell you to try and keep it as level as possible but it's not easy to do because as you torque down this bolt it turns it I think we're okay you can see about how much threading I left up top but those bushings are all in real nice shape and added some height to it I also went ahead and got new bushings here Moog my old ones actually weren't in bad shape once I got them out of there but uh 20 bucks, might as well get new ones. You can see this bolt doesn't quite match. I sheared off one of the bolts doing the work. I torqued it to uh, 60 foot pounds and it stripped.